Talking about your mom, mm. you're, I mean, by watching Lewa M coming home, you mm. can see the strong relationship uh, that you have with her. How important is it for fathers to be having relationship with their moms and how it affects their relationship with their children? Obviously, the first human being you meet when you enter. Yeah, <laughs> you leave. Yeah, well, one of that moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, the first human being, all human beings interact with, mm. is a mother. Things that we never really take time to think about. That your journey with life and your journey with humanity starts with the mother. Boom, pa. Mm. I should write a song, boom, pa. <laughs> <laughs> no? Yeah. So, that bond and that interconnectedness is powerful. Now, I'm trying to figure out how we can now discuss this and actually connect it to where I know you want to go to yeah. and why I'm here. Yeah. Ne? Then where we now have to step back as a society mm -hmm. 27 years later and say, are we really honest as South Africans in general? Put politics aside. Mm. Are we really honest as we are so eager to present ourselves as a conservative people with conservative principles? Hmm. religious conservative principles, political conservative, are we really honest? The reason I say that is, if we're honest, then we have to then reflect on who then dictates our agenda as a uh -huh. society. What is the role of culture? What is our culture? Who determines that? Is it the mother or the father mm -hmm. or the Americans? <laughs> <laughs> then me having the privilege of being brought up and born in both societies, I comfortably say the Americans. Our culture, our sense of self, whether it's music, religion, its entire activation is based on American principles and values. So when I start by saying are we honest, is this reality show put me in a very difficult predicament, extremely difficult predicament. It was meant to be a show about myself and my son, who at the time when this show started, who, our worlds were apart. Mm. As a consequence of him impregnating a young lady. Ne? Mm. That's right before COVID. Mm. Now, there's two kinds of mothers. Mm -hmm. ne? There are mothers that are honest and have knowledge of self, history, and dignity, mm. then we are afraid as men now. But we are also afraid as society mm. to say there are horrible mothers out there. <laughs> <laughs> ne? True. Uh, because someone else has dictated our agenda and how to implement our agenda, first I must declare that I grew up in a very difficult family where I know what gender-based violence is. Mm. My father was a very violent alcoholic. So I know that I've lived it and I understand it. And I support anything positive towards resolving the issues and dealing with the issues of gender-based violence. So what I'm about to say is not to contradict that. Yeah. yeah. What I'm about to say is to say, well, you have to have balance. Now I can speak like an adult. Say, you have to balance. Sure. If you deal at 50, because I got tired, I was, not supposed, I was not supposed to go past 17 and 90, so I can actually have discussions now. Yeah. No? The, the flip side of that is abusive mothers mm. who are in the forefront of creating confusion, of hijacking agendas. And I happen to have that experience personally, where, not about my mother now, mm. I, I, my mother is a special human yeah. being, you know? It's just is is the entrance to the subject of, of motherhood. Course. Yes. Yeah? I have the great misfortune of being the biggest villain in this country hmm. <laughs> over a project whose intention was to build. And the result, the consequence of a strategy that was executed over a decade ago by one of the mothers of my children, Nandin Lov, my ex-wife. Yeah. Who created a relationship with a uh, tabloid journalist, Theo, can't think of his name, mm. Theo Nyasambe. Mm. 
And the foundation of that relationship, over a decade, leading to this last week that made me say, against the wishes of every bone in my body, I never wanted to address this. My team and people have just kept saying, address this. I didn't take it serious until this week or something. I guess this is serious now. Because mm. Kaya FM has become a tabloid also. <laughs> Kaya FM which is a legitimate, powerful station in black community with very intellectual, highly influential people, mm. suddenly has posted on Facebook. Kaya, Kaya, K-A-Y. Nine, five, nine, yeah. Get now. So, so my family, where, where I look forward to coming to Kaya, I will always be a family member, has just taken garbage and put it on their platform. Now I must respond. That's why I, earlier I started by saying, are we honest? Are we honest or are we going to be about statistics, numbers, and rating while you destroy? Then someone says something so important to me that made me act. I don't know, Talepsa, but we've been telling you about this and you said tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Then I thought about what I'm about to say in response now to my family, Kaya, posting this thing. Yes. Lebo M got married eight times. You hear one? Yo. Then God acts on the <laughs> now you have to step back and say, so we become so morally and intellectually bankrupt hmm. as a country and a society. Our IQ has become so low that even intellectuals I have actually bought into this thing. People of high society have actually bought into this thing at a time when the country is going through so much trauma, hmm. load shedding, hmm. all kinds of dysfunctionality. Texts that are coming from me is very important people in society. How again, again, get out of my face. I've been married only three times. Where did the miscommunication happen? I've been happen? married to Nandi, Angela, and Vivica. Mm. Now, someone in this building, <laughs> in this legitimate, this is not uh, the other case. Mm. Could I just call home affairs before you print that nonsense on your platform? Mm. Or call me. And I tell you, I have only three marriage certificates and three divorces. If you don't trust me, go to home affairs. Mm. It's a simple exercise that's less than five minutes. Mm. Literally. Where it started is there was an intent to maliciously contaminate my good name mm. as a result of the death of my late son, Timberlit, who over the years I've come to learn was murdered in my home at age 14 months. I finally spoke about that and it was just whatever. Because two people successfully executed a strategy that literally controls the consciousness and the intellect and an investigative nature of the entire country. No one has actually, journalists and other legitimate or not, have actually sat down to say, there's a pattern here, there's a story, there's a theme. The theme to disgrace and humiliate level M. If you sit down, and looked at the majority of the articles that have come out and the source of it. The source of it is one reporter, mm. Theo Nyahamba, who's closely linked, very directly so, to my bitter, angry ex-wife, Nandi, who then have successfully executed this thing that anytime my team and my publicist announces anything good that we're doing and we do a lot for country and for self, mm. There's all it. Now, I want to move on out of the Something is wrong. People are no longer thinking now. Eh? Yeah. Seriously, people are no longer thinking. One paper uh, says I'm married seven times. The next morning, another one says I'm married eight times. All in one year. And there's so much confusion that shouldn't be there. If our IQ, so someone decided that this strategy is going to work because our national IQ is so low. So someone was a better strategy than the whole country. Theo decided this is going to work. He executed it over a period of 10 years. Sure. Knowing that the country, no one has enough intelligence to sit back and say, this makes no sense. So it blows, it blows, it blows, it blows, it blows. I've been married only three times. Yeah. I don't know how many times I've said in public, to the press that chose not to. I've been married only three times. 
the reality show, go watch it again. There is no relationship with me and Angela. There is no remarriage of me and Angela. There was not. Mm. Yeah. She was going through a hard time. For the second time, I helped her out of that because I have compassion for her children that are my children. I have compassion or had compassion for Angela, who I have a child with. I'm married three times. Angela has been married three times. If then we want to now continue the theme of Lebuem coming home, its intention was to discuss family issues, mm. difficult and otherwise. The emotional conflict or perception of conflict that you see in my show, the first scene where you see me and my son sit down, I was not expecting that. The minute it happened and he exploded, I automatically knew that's not Tsepiso. That was orchestrated mm. by the war between me and his mother in court in Los Angeles over a family estate that has been ongoing. So there's two events that happen at the back. And I kept saying I tried, you know, <laughs> to have a little voice. So, hey, first of all, now I have a life. Of course. I have a life. I'm a very busy professional. Mm. I just felt it upon myself not to be wasting time when someone has decided the IQ of the country is not sophisticated enough to actually see that there's something wrong, wrong here, here to a point where Le M, a prominent domestic and global South African property, if he speaks, our strategy is so powerful, he will not be heard. If he speaks truth, if his publicists send a press release that since the world opened, we have opened doors again around the world for South Africans. We are focused on that. We will shut it down, which is the same thing. Oh, he got married again. Oh, he got married again. And people shove this down our throats. Then you have to reflect on why would people do this? Pain, relationship pains. Relationships ended, relationships started, relationships ended. My relationship with Nandi started and it ended. My marriage with uh, Angela started and it ended. But there are children there. Mm. Let me ask you something. No one has asked a very simple question. Angela, if Le was such a horrible person, why did you come back for the third time? No one. Men or women. <laughs> Angela, if you know that you're not married to Lebo twice or three times, why are you not saying something about it? Yet the contrast of that is gender-based violence, abuse, emotional abuse to children. Mm. No one, social department, whatever, religious leaders, women movements, and all that they have ever said, but what about Angela's children? Here's what about Angela's children I get to answer that now. Why I keep quoting Angela? It's because privately we know that the Angela that you saw on that show is a different Angela that was living with us. So she basically piggybacked on a strategy that she saw work with Nandi. Privately, she admitted that she was too much on the fence. But what worked for her, I'm pretty and I'm calm. Phew. You're talking about a woman that basically, once the cameras are on, bah, ah, I'm pretty, I'm calm. Morning, Sue. But knowing that I'm very, we as a family are dealing with very difficult issues. Mm. I'm a father trying to protect my son at 24 years old marrying or being talked about get married to a questionable woman, a questionable family. It's my right as a father. Mm. I'm fighting against that or trying to protect him. This young man was in therapy months before he meets this young girl. I know him from birth. I know his strengths and weaknesses. But I also know that this family that was introduced to me, I'll come back to Angela. This family that was introduced to me under the auspices of pregnancy of this young girl, I've met them only once mm. when they came to my house. But I hope you can one. Mm. And the deal went bad then. It became a business transaction. I said it then, I'm saying it again. Supported by my angry, bitter ex wife, Nandi, who was willing to throw her own son down this path to hide her next role in the death of our child some years ago. Mm. Now, before the show starts, before we start shooting, Nandi and Theo issues a very painful article 
I had begun to recover from recently learning that my son was actually murdered in my house. At 14 months, my son Eesh. did not die by accident in my swimming pool. He was murdered. So says the autopsy. I opened an investigation on that. It got shut down by the mother to hide a negligent role. When she was supposed to, die, to be there, she was not there. So you have over a decade of a family that has been in turmoil. Mm, there's healing that needs to happen. Yeah, long before you get to healing, you have to deal with the facts. Yeah. You have to unearth the facts. Healing, now I've gone through therapy, I'm 16 years sober. The only healing that happens in any situation in any country is truth. Mm. We are not an honest country. We're not an honest society. We are a headline society. But there are children suffering here. No one has stopped to ask. Angela has been in and out of this man three times. What about his, her kids? How come nobody's ever asked that? Because someone was able to sell a beautiful face to you and say she was married in Egypt? No, how many times do I have to say that I was emotional because I was being my honest self? Between me and Angela, someone is real and someone is not. Speak to my family, speak to everybody behind the scenes. Speak to Angela. I'm so happy that uh, as family yeah. at Kaya 959 that you were able to come through yeah. and uh, let the world know that, listen, this is where the trajectory is going to go going forward, that uh, we can't continue in this light. No, we can't. Mm. Politically or family or otherwise. We're either conservative or we're not. Yeah. We're either Americans or we're not. <laughs> <laughs> We went into a car, I could hide, but for the keyboard. <laughs> hey, we want the keyboard. And the keyboard is going to fail. It's <laughs> <laughs> be easy. It's going to be easy. It's going to be Sure. I know, my lips, you got to do something about this. Get a word. Speak your mind out. Get a know, but how, how do you speak your mind out to a country and a people that are in denial and have such deep hatred for self that when a man has confidence, is arrogant? When a man speaks truth, he's all those things. For the first time in my life, I'm a narcissist. Yo, <laughs> we, we are so drunk on everyone else's theories. We just use terms now. You know, in my field, ne? Mm. an artist releases an album, sells 200 copies, or let's, let's be conservative to say 50,000 copies. Mm. A legend. Heaven, I don't feel I'm a legend. I'm 57 years old. Hello. I know I'm referred to as a legend. I'm nowhere near a legend with all these global accolades. Until I'm 65 or 75, maybe start thinking about that. So we are such a headline society that we're destroying even beautiful things. Young people who shouldn't be buying into this mm. release an album or two or three he has themselves been referred to a legend, as a legend, and it goes to their head. He has a legend. 65 for 75 years in the business with a bank account. That shows for it. Yeah. Yes. Not your tender. <laughs> bank account from your career. Yes. Longevity. Global success. Have you had global impact? To you have to qualify to be a legend. You have to qualify to be a doctor. You have to be qualified to be a professor over a period of time. Mm -hmm. You have to invest to earn that. We're just giving accolades every day. Legend. Doctor. I see that. I, 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 it's out I, of... I appreciate it. Yes. But it's creating confusion with young people. Yeah. Before you assume, young person, that I'm a legend, do you know the history and the story and the journey of those I stand in the shoulders of? Mm. Because if you don't know that, you have missed a very important generation. <laughs> mm. No, if you don't know anything about Huma Sikera, Dollar Brand, Mara Low, Miriam Makeba, Dorothy Masuka, and all those things, you can't refer to me as a legend. Mm. It's like Otomako Sabe and then Usoluko University. True. The tragedy, the tragedy of the dysfunctionality of society where we are now unable to even see through abusive mothers to children or mm. someone else is dictating the agenda for us because 90 or 70% of 
of or more of males are, as we all know, very abusive. Yeah. That's a reality. It's a painful reality. But at the same time, it takes two. To tango. To tango. Whatever happens in that bedroom when a child is conceived and whatever happens to that child between the ages of zero to nine and 14 has an impact on whether or not that child is going to put a gun in your head and want to take your car. And it takes two people. So honesty has to come from both sides. That's a balanced way to get to a solution. Mm. Okay. Mm.